Welcome, everyone, to another episode of the Giga Hub Weekly Show. I am one of three hosts, Luis Delatore. I'm Adam Cran. I'm Daikaiji Tony. I should have said I am one of three hosts that doesn't have a lot of time on their hands, or has too much time on their hands. Too much time on their hands. Um, before we go any further for this movie review, right. let's talk about our wonderful sponsor, Cosmic Comics, right. the jewel of the Mojave Desert. Um, we have a wide selection of comics, toys, and things, and so, some stuff we want to show off to you. Who wants to show off their stuff first? What do you, what do you got? We have adult comics, Sunstone. Mm. Nice. Kids comics, Scooby-Doo and Batman Mysteries. That one's really good. And Somewhere in the Middle comics, The Last Ronin, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The original creators, Eastman and Laird, are back, That was also awesome. Let me get that adult comic from you. <laughs> Uh, sorry, Give it man. to me. Do you have your ID? <sighs> no. <laughs> what else we got? No. All right. Uh, well, up in the topic of today's review, well, actually, I'll let you go first. Because you let me go first? Yeah. Do you ever, <laughs> let me ask oh, you a question. Second. Let me ask you guys a question. Do you ever come home, specifically the guys, do you ever come home and want your wife to pick a fight with you? Your wife and your girlfriend. <laughs> Right. Well, uh, now you now you can when you bring home this poison ivy statue right here, <laughs> available at Cosmic Comics. Right. Um, I mean, there you go. Do you, need need you say more? There you go. We'll have your wife fighting with you in no time. Wife or girlfriend? Or how about you drop some serious bucks on this Mandalorian, this giant Mandalorian yeah. pop? Right. Chrome too. Chrome, gorgeous. Right. Right. And she's still probably gonna fight with you. She'll still fight with you. Yeah. Unless she's cool. Unless, Unless she's cool. If she's not cool, I mean, then he yeah. Has, he is holding a little baby Yoda. So. Yeah, so, you know, There's maybe she, might, she might be into that. So. I, know, I know not that name. <laughs> I only know baby Yoda. So, yeah, anyway, if you want to pick a fight with your wife or girlfriend, bring this home. There's that. A little, right. little bit of adult stuff for, <laughs> right. for people. <laughs> what do you got, Tony? All right, on the today, uh, on the topic of today's episode. <laughs> sorry, I, <laughs> I choked on my own spit for a second. I'm sorry. <laughs> is that what that was? <laughs> okay, on the topic of today's episode, here's Mortal Kombat X the comic. Well, nice. here's uh, Volume One, and yeah, it's a pretty decent comic. It has blood, guts, gore, um, characters from both Mortal Kombat X and um, some of the 3D era games like um, I don't know. 9, I 10, 11. <laughs> oh, no. Um, 3D era referring to, like, the Mortal Kombat games where you could, like, not really walk around in circles, but it's not 2D. You could just, like, oh, walk around. Uh, like Boraicho. Yeah, Boraicho. He's in this comic, mm-hmm. I believe. Oh. Havoc. Yeah. There you go. Uh, and all the ones you'll never see again. <laughs> right. <laughs> in oh. any Mortal Kombat game. Uh, anyway, besides all that stuff. I, I did realize I need a new Captain America cup after Friday's episode. Why? Why? You guys didn't watch Falcon and the Winter Soldier? Uh, mm. Spoilers. Gosh. No, I, I don't have Disney that. Plus. Anyway, go ahead. Eh? Anyway. <laughs> I don't have Disney Plus. Well, spoilers, sorry. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I've already seen it. I liked it. Um, yeah, yeah, so good. anyway, uh, besides all that stuff that we just showed you, we have plenty of other things. We have like uh, we have shirts and things. We have board games. Right. All manner of things. Come on down. Uh, give us a visit. Uh, and see what you'll take home. I mean, honestly, every time I come in here, I want to take something home. So... I'm sure you'll be the same me, way. Me too, and I work here. And he works here. They work here, guys. So and I you know, often do take stuff home. So you right? know everything. Well, maybe don't say that. Yeah. You don't want to lose well, your job. Well, I buy things. Well, it's too late for that now. <laughs> anyway, come on down. Whatever Adam hasn't taken and put in his car, <laughs> wow. you, you can buy. Right, right. You can buy. Um, okay. So now that we got our wonderful, beautiful sponsor out of the way, right? let's talk about the, nay, not the movie, the film. That will go down as the greatest thing to happen coming out of the pandemic. Mortal Kombat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Mortal Kombat! <laughs> do, 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 Nice. It's like techno syndrome or whatever it's yeah, called. Yeah, it was here. Uh, so we watched Mortal Kombat, which by the time this comes out will have been a couple days ago. Yeah, I think we all saw it on Friday, actually. Even, oh, did we? Yeah, even yeah I, I know Friday. I know Tony saw it in theaters. Yeah. It's probably the only way to see it, huh? Uh, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Your TV was pretty nice. I, I did. Yeah, we we watched it at my place. Um, and it's yeah, good. I we watched it, it on HBO Max. It, it's passable on TV. It's yeah. passable on TV. It's definitely a made-for-TV movie, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Oof. So, Mortal Kombat. I mean, we've all seen the first Mortal Kombat, nineteen ninety-five. Five. Nineteen ninety-five Mortal Kombat. Long ago. Yeah. Wow. Mm. I was eleven. It was bad. 
but it was oh, fun. No. When I was 11, it was, so it was the greatest movie that ever existed. I was 20. When I was 11. Yeah, I was 20-something, and it was bad, but it was fun. Like, it was like, oh, yeah. This, my this kick my, kick my top 10 list when I was, like, pr- like early double digits. Yeah. It's terrible. It's a terrible list. <laughs> Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Jurassic Park Mighty was out there. Power and and the Mighty Ducks. <laughs> and the Mighty Ducks. Um, yeah, so we all seen that. We all saw Annihilation. Yes. Is that safe to say? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. It was glorious. <laughs> <laughs> Annihilation was not good. And then we, we, uh. we sat ourselves down for this new Mortal Kombat. Actually, right. in between, there was, a there was the YouTube show with Michael J. White. With Michael J. Yeah. White as Jax. The web series. Really They, they should Mortal have just Kombat brought Legacy. back. But, no, I say that. But the guy who played Jax was great. Yeah, actually, Honestly, yeah. I, I liked him a lot. Well, we'll, I liked we'll him a lot. But we'll, 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 we'll wait to get there. The and end. now we're here at Mortal Kombat 2021. 2021. Oh, boy. Oof. Talk, I don't know how. Talk about the good or the bad first. Let's talk about the good because there's not yeah, a lot of good. I feel we should get it out of the way first. What do you think? I liked it. Even you liked though it? There were some parts of the story where <laughs> I thought they could have done way more with the crazy changes they've done. Hmm. Yeah. Like, I like how, basically, they have to initiate the tournament themselves instead of being invited to the island. Like, they have to, like, okay, they're attacking us, we got to do the tournament now. <laughs> I kind of like that idea, even though sure. it should have happened in the middle of the movie instead of, like, the last act. <laughs> yeah. Let's run down the yeah, movie a little strange. real quick for people who haven't watched it. Right. Uh, basically, there is a war between our world... And uh, Outworld. Outworld. Remember what? Enter the Dragon? Yeah. Just chop off the first act with Bruce Lee's sister, and mm-hmm. that's Mortal Kombat. And that's Mortal Kombat. Except with superpowers yeah, yeah, and super really violent names. deaths. Yeah. Um, <laughs> basically, we've, we've been losing this tournament for control of Dimensions, our world. Yeah. And uh, the final tournament is now taking place with all the fighters getting ready to fight in right. Mortal Kombat. And then, Mortal of course, uh, as uh, Tony mentioned... Um, they decided to jumpstart the tournament, if you can even call it that. They basically just started, they decided to kill everybody, fighting. all the participants, uh, and so begins the saga that is Mortal Kombat. So let's talk about, let's talk about the good, yeah? Okay. Okay, uh, first off, can I say, some of the people in this movie, very good. Yeah. Um, the, the, uh, let me see if I can find him. I should have, I should have taken that. The guy that played Jax. The guy that played Jax. Uh, he was really good. McCad Brooks. He was good. He was great. Honestly, yeah, I, was. I really liked him as Jax. He's a very likable guy. He, he's a very. Plus he had really good charisma. I mean, he felt yeah. powerful. Yeah. Like sometimes you get actors in those roles and they just, you don't feel it, which is my later criticism over, what is it? Shao Kahn? I always forget his name. Shen- uh, Shang Tsung. Shang Tsung. The Sang-Sung. main bad guy. Yeah. 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 Uh, Josh Lawson as Kano. I didn't like him at first because the original yeah, Kano from 1995 was so slimy. He just felt in a, like in a good way. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this guy, he was almost too likable or too soft. But then as it got going, I'm like, no, nah, I like this guy. Yeah, and he, he was like good. It. And then like his inevitable betrayal, you were just like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I get it. You just backstabs no, yeah. the good guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I, I figured it was gonna happen. I was upset when I was like, why is he with the good guys? This is done. And then he's like, oh, well, he's gonna betray them. He's obviously, betray right? Yeah. In the original timeline, um, basically Kano was aligned with Earth Roamers, but he ended up backstabbing him, right. which sort of explains how in Mortal Kombat 2, he's not a playable character, but he's in the background all chained up right. alongside Sonya. Mm. Right. Okay. And then uh, Sonya Blade. Uh, he was great. Uh, Jessica McNamee as yeah. Sonya Blade. Uh, she was good. She was good. She was good I, enough, I, I, yeah. wish, I wish she was... I, I We say good enough. Yeah. I agree as good enough, but I say good enough because I don't think we, we got to see enough of her. Yeah. She did seem like she was kind of tacked on a to this bit, movie, a little bit, but we're not going to get into the bad. We're talking about she the good. Kind of wasn't the despite plot that. Too. Despite that, I thought she was. Boys I thought she was great. Only. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of boys only going on here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Despite that, though, I thought she yeah. was. I thought she was good. I thought she was great. Yeah. Um. Of course, uh, it was uh, Hiroyuki Sonata as <sighs> uh, Scorpion. Yeah. Yep. The, this as Hanzo Hasashi. This generation's Toshio Mifune. Which I forgot what Tokutatsu was in though. They probably paid a pretty penny for him, I imagine. Um, yeah. Which is why he was in like they showed his face, number one. Yeah. And two, like he was yeah, only sure he, he wasn't in the face. whole movie. Yeah, so yeah. how much of a budget did they have if he wasn't in the right. whole movie? Uh, I didn't know he was in Each of the Killer. Yeah. I didn't know that was yeah. him. He's in a lot of stuff, yeah. Oh, I I Yeah. Like as soon as I read that, I was like, Oh, I did I had no idea. Yeah. Um Yeah, he was great too. Uh, he was in Space Avenger Tokusatsu, but I forgot the title. Yeah. Was he? Okay. Yeah. I know he's in a lot of things. The guy's got a long list. Um, 
Who plays Raiden? Uh, Raiden was, uh, he was another Japanese actor. Tadanobu Asano. Yeah, Yeah, I know him from um, Electric Dragon 80,000 Volts, (laughs) which is kind of funny when you consider that he's Raiden and, and... Electric Dragon, 8,000 volts. The whole, throughout the whole movie, he, get, he gets powered up by being electrocuted. Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, so it was right up his wheelhouse. Uh, right his now, wheelhouse. So he's like in a lot of Japanese films, but um, yeah. for those of you who don't know, he was uh, he was uh, one of the Warriors 3 in all the Thor right. movies. Right, Yep. He was Hogan in he all the Hogan, Thor yeah. movies. So you've seen him. Yeah. And of course, he was in the, the classic movie, Battleship, <laughs> <laughs> with timeless <laughs> actors poor, such, poor as, Taylor Kish, cause... such as R- Rihanna. Yeah. And T- Taylor Kish was good in some movies. It's just he wasn't. Oh, he had the misfortune of not being in good movies. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> that poor guy. Aside from like the people in it, what, what else would you say that you liked about? Um, uh, what like some of the action sequences were good, right? Some of the, the fights. The fatalities were, we got were good. Yep. The fatality we there got. There wasn't enough of them. But oh, the we got fa- two. two. We got two fatalities, two fatalities that I can think uh, of. Did I miss one? Wait, well, uh, so, so there, there was, was the Kano pulling out someone the reptile's heart. Reptile's heart. Yeah. Um, Spoilers, by the way. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Kung Lao cutting Kung Natara. Lao. Cutting, yeah. yeah. Natara yeah. gets freaking sliced. Oh, no. Jax, he does the... He, he, oh, there was a third. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did do the head that smash. Was, listen, I know we're talking about the good. That was a real wasted moment. I was so mad that they were in the pit stage. Oh, yeah. And he did yeah. not yeah. use the pit. The pit. Yeah, like, yeah. at least dump that's his body right. down. Yeah, yeah right. something. But, head. yeah. That's but, right. Um, it's yeah, like, even Daryl commented on that. Like, yeah. why wouldn't you throw them on the spikes? They're yeah. right there. We'll get to the bad stuff. We'll get to the bad yeah. stuff. It's not exactly like how it is traditionally, but Liu Kang summons a fire dragon and takes Chomp out of Cabal, but it just burns Cabal even more instead of consuming him. <laughs> That's an animality. Oh, no, animality. You got <laughs> Isn't physically it? turned into the animal. Oh, oh, yeah. No, no, he did. That was his fatality. I yeah, Luke Kang. Doesn't matter. Either way, yeah, I, I could have used more gruesome fatalities. I think the, the Kung Lao yeah. fatality was, was the like, most gruesome one. That's what I was expecting. Was a lot I mean, of like the more fatality. Yeah, um, I wanted so to see more expect more brain, and scorpion. <laughs> more, more, inner, more, more viscera, more innard. Yeah. Scorpion taking off his mask and setting Sub Zero on fire. That's uh, yeah, technically a toasty, I, right? It's uh, but I, it, 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 he didn't incinerate him into like pure bone. He just. Yeah. Uh, I can't believe I I, I, just, I was so. Upset at this movie that I like did not think of all this. You're right. Uh, all the stuff you said. I, well, some of them I do remember from the, the original Mortal Kombat. I would imagine for the Chinese market, they're not going to show a skeleton because a skeleton oh, for yeah. some reason is like a. It's like really gory to them. I guess yeah. like, mm. something culturally like you don't show skeletons. Yeah, it's really mm-hmm. bad. Hmm. Yeah. Which so I'm sure the, that was part of it. One of the reasons why Taskmaster's design was changed for the Black Widow right. movie. Right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, what else? Anything what else? else good? What else can we think of that's good? I like how all the characters had their moves, basically. Like, Cabal has super speed. Kung Lao uses right. his hat. Liu Kang has fireballs. Right. Mm. Kano has his eye laser, even though... Kano had his eye laser. It's a they, weird way to do the eye laser, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, the way... Uh, we'll get to that part later. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was funny. It was just like, what? <laughs> how we got there, I think getting there was fun. I think him reacting to it was the f- was fu- was what was good. Right. It's not, not so his much how it came about. reaction was good, yeah. Yeah. Um, but no, he got my superpowers. <laughs> oh, again, Dolph. When do I get my superpowers? Hey, when do I get my superpowers? Uh, you, <laughs> you said like it would have been better if he was played by Reese Darby. <laughs> yeah, I did say. I said the only thing that make this better if he was played by Reese Darby. <laughs> I would love it. I would love a cut of this movie if so Reese Darby Gandalf? played Kano. Gandalf. So when, are we, when are we going to get my superpowers? Got me laser eye. <laughs> hey, got, got me laser eye. My laser eye. Brit, got me laser eye. <laughs> uh, so this is a movie that's definitely opened up to sequels and I know that oh, yeah. some yeah. of the actors they signed on for at least four more and it, de- oh, it depends on mm, good luck. How, how well this movie, <laughs> how, how well this movie did financially yeah. well I, I, well, I we'll was see. We'll see. I, you know what just from some of the early things that I was seeing online already like a lot of people liked this movie they they saw this movie the way I, mean, I see the original 95 movie, which was that it's not a good movie, but it's a fun movie, which I completely disagree with. But I, yeah, <laughs> the 95 yeah. movie had a more solid yeah. plot. I mean, yeah. well, it worked better for the context of what was going on. Yeah. Like, oh, and, and then you know you had, you had Brigitte Wilson. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Is that yeah? That's Sonya right. Blade, Christopher she Lambert. She lives right up the road, I believe. Or at least she did. I don't know. Right don't don't give her away. That's, yeah. um, okay. Brigitte Samson Sam uh, Sampras. <laughs> yeah, Brigitte. Sam Wilson, Sam. Sam. Yeah, I think it's yeah. the same as Wilson. Yeah. Uh, Christopher Lambert as Raiden. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's like such a uh, unique, near perfect, ca- near yeah. perfect casting. Yeah, Robin Show as Luke Kang. You, right. you, you wouldn't think it would work, but it works. Yeah, 
Johnny Cage, despite the fact that he didn't look anything like this movie, kind of he conveyed the right arrogance in the old one. Yeah. yeah. Um, speaking of Johnny Cage, is he in this movie? No. Kind of. No. Well, yeah. in a poster. Yeah. And he's in a movie poster in the movie, which yeah. was to signal that he was going to be in the sequel. Yeah, apparently. So for those of us who were thinking that whoever this Cole person well, yeah, we was, was going to be, be he's going to change his name to Johnny Cage or find some convoluted way to become Johnny Cage. Right. He did not. He did not. Uh, so don't expect that. You will see Johnny Cage, but just in a very disappointing way. Yeah. Here's the thing. I feel like the reveal of Johnny Cage would have worked better if the movie was better. Yeah. I think if you were flying yeah, yeah, high yeah. from the movie yeah. and then coming down from the ending yeah. and then all of a sudden like, oh, Johnny Cage, that yeah. would have been a lot, a lot better. Right. The whole movie. I still cheered a bit because I was mm. wearing my Johnny Cage outfit. <laughs> well, he you. was. He was cosplaying as Johnny Cage, which you can see on, his, yeah. on Anthony's yeah. OnlyFans page. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. Um, Daikaiji Tony on only. What else was good? Like some, a lot of the fights were decent. I, I did. Mean, no, I'm kidding. They, it was great. You looked great. And they were creative. Like the fights were creative too. Yeah, they, the they looked pretty cool. So yeah. that was cool. I did like some of the world building. Like um, when you when you get to Sonia's place and she mm -hmm. has a bunch of like clippings and whatever. Yeah. Like um, you find out that tournament's been going on for a long time. You see yeah. a picture of Nightwolf. You see a picture you of see, Kotal Khan. Yeah, yeah, you see a bust of Kotal Khan. Yeah, yeah. that's who me and Daryl were freaking um, out about. When Luke Kang is he's <clears> explaining <throat> his backstory to Cole while patching up his arm. Um, Luke Kang mentions that he was trained and brought in by Boricho, who's... He, Boricho, he's a character that you either love him or hate him. Yeah. He's he's kind of a goofy character. He's yeah. basically like a sloppy drunk. Yeah, yeah. He has moves where he like he throws up and he farts, farts and stuff. And, and, and his fatality, he just puts a torch in his butt. And <laughs> he's kind of he's kind of a goofball. Yeah. It seems like they always give any any fighting characters I see with like the drunken kung fu styles always some goofball. It's like Boricho or like in a Def Jam Vendetta. It was like <laughs> it was um mm. what's his name? Gosh, why can't I think of his name anymore? Uh, he's a rapper. Ugh, forget it. I don't even remember. <laughs> um, I liked how they changed Scorpion and Sub Zero's backstory because, because throughout the years, that backstory has been retconned oh, yeah, in yeah, yeah. multiple occasions. Like, oh, it wasn't Sub Zero who killed uh, Scorpion's family. It was Quan Chi disguised as Sub Zero. <laughs> then in here, they just made Sub Zero the flat out full flat evil. Flat out bad guy. Yeah. And yeah. I, I liked how like they made him pretty scary, especially during the chase scenes. I mean, they did try to stay pretty. Uh, Pretty straightforward with Scorpion. I mean, they tried to show his whole thing. Yeah, and I appreciate how their backstory takes place in 1600s because even with like the current games, I'm I'm wondering like how does feudal Japan ninjas exist in the 21st, in? 21st century? <laughs> yeah, yeah, different, um, different dimensions. Yeah, so there are some things if you're a big time Mortal Kombat right. fan um, that you'll probably recognize. Uh, if, and you, then, if you think smoke's gonna show up every other scene, like I did, he, oh my he god! Does not. Every time with you, it's it was oh, smoke. Is that your favorite character? I never even <laughs> I mean, asked yeah, you. I like smoke. Yeah. Every time, well, because anytime Shang Tsung appears, it's always with like it's black smoke, black like no, when, curling sort guy of appears, smoke. Yeah. yeah, they teleport and it's like black smoke. And every time you're like, is it smoke? Is it it's, smoke? Yeah. And then like, Sub Zero damn. walks in, and you can't really tell it's Sub Zero because yeah, he's dressed in black. He's the in the first time you well, see him. He's in black. He's like a very like. Yeah. Dark blue. It's like, with, no, it's like black with like tinted blue. It's tinted tinted blue. blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a, and silver. Uh, you think it's smack? Yeah, you think it's smoke? You think it's smoke? You yeah. were excited. All, I, was. Smoke, I was like, smoke. smoke. I'm like, dude, that's that's Sub Zero. Come on. <laughs> the guy who plays Sub Zero is awesome, though. He was in the raid. Yeah. 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 And he was in a movie called uh, Night Comes for Us, which is just like the raid, but a little bit more gorier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, there's uh, any other good bits? That you um, think of? Yeah, I can't think of too many. <laughs> Tony, you probably, you enjoyed this movie. Is there any other good bits that you mm. enjoyed? Well, with the exception of Scorpion and Cole Young, I liked most of the Cole characters Young. characterizations and how they adapted a lot of the characters. You didn't, you didn't like Scorpion? Uh, I'll get into like how Scorpion should have been handled alongside Cole Fair Young. Um, only enough. one that I think could have been better in terms of characterization, in terms of the bad guys, is... Melina, I guess, because yeah. Melina, she has a lot of backstory. and it's She weird plays how, a much bigger part in the video games, yeah. Like, yeah. it's weird how they have Melina, who's uh, a clone of Katana. Right. Yet, they don't have they Katana. They don't have Katana. Her fan's in the background. Yeah. yeah. Um, Seems odd, oh, I speak, mean. Speaking of background, uh, Kano stealing the amulet that Shinnok is locked inside of. <laughs> right. And Luke King tells him to put it back. I kind of cheered at that point, <laughs> because... 
I'm a big fan of Mortal Kombat nice, 4. That's a nice small nod, yeah. Yeah, well, it's too bad Kano died, question mark? I mean, yeah. he's been killed in the games, and he's been brought back, but bald. <laughs> right, so th- that, was, that was the thing, too, was I think... Uh, <clears throat> Shang Tsung had made mention that his he like he hinted that his warriors weren't dead. Right. Oh, like definitely like yeah. So Bihan, he becomes a new Psybot. Melina, she's a clone. She could Shang Tsung made her. He could just pop her out. Make and, another uh, one. In yeah. A test tube. Pop the toaster. Clink. Got yeah. yep. Got another one. Got another one. Got another one. Goro um, could be replaced with Kentaru. Yeah. Mm, or Shiva. Yeah, she's not as cool as Kentaro. Kentaro's a tiger. That shoots fire out he's of his a, mouth. He's a tiger man, four-armed man. <laughs> um, okay, so. How about the bad? Let's bad. get into the bad. Ooh, right. Get ready for the rest of the episode. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, this movie was boring. Who, in a way, like. To me, yeah, to was, me. You, like, Cole wasn't, his whole thing yeah, was Yeah, let's talk so, about Cole. His whole thing was so perfunctory and and standard mm. that it just did nothing for he me like exists I didn't care. as a character that the audience could relate to he, but well, I'm supposedly just, but at the same time I'm like you could have done that with Johnny Cage I, yeah it yeah. was just it was just like very I like who is this guy like well, I I'm a okay, fan he's of he's got a wife and kid and he's a former professional MMA fighter who now is a club fighter is this is this the trying to retell Rocky story in Mortal yeah, Kombat so, like I didn't get it so there was I'm I'm sure I I'm sure the idea was that he was supposed to be an everyman like Tony said you're yeah, supposed to yeah. be relatable to this yeah. guy he's a family man you yeah. know what I mean he's just doing the he's best. just a regular you know, guy he's doing the he's best that he can from grace yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and you're supposed to relate to him and yeah. i find it really hard to relate to 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 the sort of cookie cutter character it, didn't, it was a little too cookie cutter there yeah. was nothing it felt so so typical yeah well it's like it's like it's <laughs> so like you generic said, it's like yeah. you said tony i so I, I think you could have done that with johnny cage i think people appreciate a, a character with a, some sort of redemption arc right, right. Mm-hmm. your han solos you know what i mean that like start off one way and then end up another way like johnny right. cage Starts off very arrogant, very confident in himself, you know, right. kind of an- annoying. Yeah. And then after a while, he just kind of grows on you as he s- begins to change. You start to see, like, right. Yeah. But you start to see him care, you know what Cole's I mean? Cole's character arc, there wasn't, maybe it was too fast, too typical, and not enough there, maybe. Yeah. And they made him look real bad, too. Like, they didn't, yeah. he, any fight, it, it's like when we talked about Kong yeah. versus Godzilla, right? Like, they never did anything to make him look confident. formidable. Yeah. Or that he has advanced in any way. Other than a news clipping that he was a former MMA champion, yeah. apparently. Yeah. Middleweight champion or mm-hmm. something. Yeah, so... And he gets powers. Uh, and then yeah. he gets his powers yeah. and... We'll get into power soon. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, yeah well, the power thing. Um, uh, yeah. But... Yeah, so, like, he... I mean, not I to mean, take away from, from the, the actor. The actor was fine. Oh, yeah, there was nothing yeah. wrong with him. Yeah. Dude yeah. could have been a good Johnny Cage. Yeah, yeah, yeah actually, yeah. I thought yeah, I would, I would have been... Honestly, if he, if he was Johnny Cage, I would have been fine with that. Yeah. Um, I think I think his character is just it's like you said he's perfunctory. There's like nothing really all that so special so or like typical. yeah he's very typical, he's very cookie cutter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. And too, too typical. Yeah. All right. So with um, on Cole's character, I like how basically the story is he's the descendant of Scorpion, even though that wasn't a thing in the games. How I would have handled that though was that he would have slowly turned into Scorpion instead of oh he's a new fighter that, with that would have been cool like see now that's something I would have been I would have been down with something right. like that yeah and with that the fam- yeah. with the family he realizes that he can't be with his family because he's Scorpion now like that would have right. been so much better yeah. than that would have been cool yeah whatever we got with Cole nice. yeah nice. yeah honestly um, I, it didn't have to follow the exact lore of Mortal Kombat but it, if it could have at least been interesting right. I, I think that would have been so much better. But so who's the bad guy? I always forget his name. Sung, Shang Tsung. Shang Tsung. I don't know why I can't remember that. Um, yep. Yeah, the actor that played him. That guy's been in a lot of stuff, and he's always really good. I just he didn't. He just didn't seem to do it for me. Shang Tsung. He didn't he, even fight in the movie. He was just. He was very eh, like he didn't have that kind of bad guy sort of. Oh no! Presence not, and personality. Not well, like what made Yuki. Uh, yeah, what Kiryuki, made Kiryuki, what made Kiryuki, 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 Kiryuki Tagawa yeah. so yeah. interesting as Shang Tsung was he was He's very like, overdid it. Yeah, he was. He chewed up the scenery yeah. like like, but he did yeah. it in such a way that it was just like it was so melodramatically. Well, yeah, it's evil. Shakespearean. Because yeah. that's I mean Mortal Kombat. It's like wrestling. Everything should be bigger than. Life yeah. and this guy's a real actor who's playing a real part, and it just didn't, mm-hmm. <laughs> it just wasn't very, 
oomph, you know? It yeah, like, I that. was, I didn't feel like he was any kind of, a, like, yeah. a real threat. Right, like, yeah. Like, he didn't really do I mean, much that guy's for good me. in a lot of stuff. Yeah, no, no, again, but, not to take away from the performers right. uh, at all. Yeah. I think everyone did a great job. He didn't have that over the top, like, we will kill you now kind yeah. of. Yeah. He's really like, I, think, oh. I said this when we watched it. The, the biggest mistake that this movie could make was to, is to take itself too seriously. And that is exactly yeah, it, what it did. It took it itself did, too seriously. I don't know if it took itself too seriously, but it certainly was right there. Like, I, I think it, it could have. It was trying to tread that line where I think it was a little too serious. Mm-hmm. Or a little too. It tried to be a little too serious for its own good. <laughs> um. I liked how the quote-unquote tournament or what was little of a tournament was structured, okay. especially like how it tries destining itself from the first move in the games by having it not be, oh, Shang Tsung's the final boss. And it's the, hi- like the final fight is the well, highlight of the movie and, and the highlight of the franchise, Scorpion versus Sub-Zero. What right. I didn't like about it is how it eventually became a tag team match where Cole just jumps <laughs> in and helps. Yeah, well, it became a like, handicap match. I'm like, yeah. really? A handicap yeah. match. And, and then I didn't like how Scorpion was basically a Final Fantasy summon. Yeah, yeah, that was weird. So my favorite character in, in Mortal Kombat is is Sub Zero. Yeah. I'm not bothered by the fact that it took two people <laughs> to beat him. I'm like, yeah, darn right, yeah, Sub Zero, dang Hell it. Yeah, yeah. But then, yeah, <laughs> like we missed out on what is essentially one of the biggest rivalries in in video games. You got your Ken and Ryu's, you got your Scorpions and your Sub Zeros. Right, yeah. Yep. So we, we we missed out on that just to have the again the humdrum hero be in the end. Yeah. So and that's why it would have been better to have him become Scorpion instead of. <laughs> yeah, a, just a that's a neat idea. Fight. I really wish they kind of would have went there. Yeah, um, Liu Kang was virtually non-existent. Yeah, so in the in, in the '95 yeah. version, Luke, and he in was, the video games, he's the main character, he's the basically. Kinda, yeah, 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 he's basically the main guy. He didn't have to be the main guy. Like I get why you wouldn't want to make him the main right. guy, right? But like he, the part that he played was not as big. No, um, as even uh, the guy with the hat, been. Kung Lao. Kung Lao. Kung Lao had a way better. I personally like Kung Lao more than Liu Kang. He was, yeah, he Kung was Lao great. was cooler yeah, than, was than Liu Kang. In which, the movie, yeah. you know, if you play the games, know anything about the history? That's not. That's not. Yeah. That's not what people think at all. But right. yeah, he was definitely a lot better than Liu Kang. And he Luke does Kang. the the, che- the most cheapest move you could have done in. The old arcade games basically just down sweep, keep down sweeping. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I, kn- I know what they're referencing there. Yeah. Is that all you know, mate? Is that all you know, mate? Yeah, <laughs> that was good. Yeah, that was good. yeah. Uh, so I don't know. This what else? like yeah. the, uh, everything was just. It felt like this movie was a hodgepodge of different types of, like it was theme- themes. Yeah. It was trying to tell a lot of different types of stories in the same story, and it it something about it just kind of clashed. It just it seems like maybe too much. They tried to have too much going on. They tried to have too much going on. Yeah. Well, they have so many characters there. One of the reasons yeah. why the '95 movie works is that even though Scorpion and Sub-Zero are henchmen in that movie, there was enough time to flesh out all the other characters. Yeah. Which but is, I mean, but I mean, the original is just sort of like, what the f? What are we doing here? What's going on? <laughs> Fight! Oh, we have to fight. Yeah. It works. I mean, you know, you know what I mean. This was yeah. more like, what's happening? What's happening? A whole lot. It was half a movie of what's happening, and then, oh, we have to fight. You know what I mean? Like, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe they should have cut that down to maybe a quarter of a movie of what's happening, not a half of the movie. Mm-hmm. What's going on? Um, yeah. I, I like. Uh, <laughs> so, so at the beginning of the movie, Jax gets his arms. Uh, basically broken off by Bro- Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero, yeah. Freezes and then, them and breaks them off. Yeah, and then we see him again in the, the, the temple, like with <laughs> the monks. That's very strange. Stuff. Yeah, that, yeah, was, and, that and, was weird. And we saw him there without his arms, like I guess they were he, and, taking care of him, and then you said something like, they're going to they're gonna rebuild his arms with that monk technology. <laughs> and they do. And I'm like, and I'm like, no, they're going to find some other way to nope. explain it. Nope, they built him mechanical <laughs> arms. The he monks had, like, built him. Little robot arms, little yeah. skeleton arms or yeah. something. They were like yep. really weird looking. And to make things even better, he upgrades them with his own power. With his own yeah. power. Oh, yeah, oh, here's the other thing. Yeah, I, that I, was weird. I guess, <laughs> I, I don't know if it's when you become part of the tournament or when you go to Outworld, you develop powers no basically like you get the that, tattoo and right you, it, it's, it's highlander logic you kill the yeah, person yeah. you get powers too yeah okay yeah so yeah because sonya That's did not have so yeah. the, the the participants in mortal Kombat will get a tattoo in the shape of the the dragon the only yeah. good guy that a wasn't dragon a guy symbol. who was fighting harder than most of the guys uh-huh. kept getting kicked out of everything 
because it was like basically you don't have the tattoo. Yeah, you don't have a tattoo, but it so felt you like, can't. It really felt like you're a girl. Get out of here. It, yeah, yeah. So they never <laughs> said like no <laughs> women can be in mortal. Yeah, no women can be in mortal combat. They didn't, they didn't say, say that. It. Just, but yeah, the, the fact that she didn't have a tattoo have and the, the way they sort of treated her, they were just like, "You're a girl. You yeah. can't. Get mortal out Kombat's here. not for girls." Yeah. It was weird. Melina's a monster. She doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Melina fights Sonya in this movie, and there's no mud. Yeah, right, and there's no well, mud. Melina's in the tournament. Well, we can have one. We can have one. <laughs> we can. It's no girls. Oh we no, can have oh, one. and the, the the flying <laughs> one, which I guess was which one is it? <laughs> Tara, oh yeah, guitar. Yeah, yeah, she was in a game. That's right. She yep. was in one of the ones I didn't play. Yeah. Uh, she's from Mortal Kombat: Deadly Alliance. Yep, didn't play it. So Deception and Armageddon. Yeah, yeah. Basically, I'm glad you knew that because I, if it, honestly, when we watched it, I was just like, I don't know who this is. Uh, do you know who Raiko was? No. He was okay. General Raiko was supposed to be one of the main villains in Mortal Kombat 4, and back when John Tobias was still in charge of the series, he was supposed to be the re- reincarnation of Shao Kahn. But later on, they did nothing with the character, and yeah, he eventually became one of those throwaway characters that's perfect for performing a fatality on. Which yeah, one of those throwaway characters perfect for Nathan Jones to play. <laughs> Nathan Jones, who played General Raiko. Raiko, Raiko yeah. yeah, former. Professional wrestler, yeah. now now menacing guy in movies. Yeah, he's a big scary he, guy. He he's super, a big scary guy. He was guy. super yeah. menacing in Fury Road. Yeah. Holy crap! Uh, he really felt like yeah. this big I, dumb idiot will never stop coming. Yeah, again, <laughs> like, nothing ugh. against him though. He yeah. was great. Like everyone was yeah. great. The, the, it's just you know you can only do so much with what you're given. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I don't know. The movie had a lot going it on. It was kind of boring. It was pretty you know, boring. To me, anyway. Yeah, I don't it's know like I, I found myself waiting for the fights too often. Like, okay, I don't care about this. Let's, let's only go. The only parts I really found boring was just the parts of Cole, because I just don't give a crap about yeah. Cole. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm, like, I could sit through... Uh, yeah, the, the Sonya character- stuff. I, Sonya yeah. and Jax I didn't find boring. I could sit through good. Sonya and Jax, character development, yeah. Liu Kang, Kung Lao, and yeah. Raiden monologuing. I could sit through all of that, but... Oh, especially with Kano. Kano was like... We just follow best. Kano around. Yeah, he yeah. was good. He was funny. Yeah, yeah he was yeah. awesome. He was good. Um... Yeah, I I don't know. It's I'm very disappointed. I was excited for this movie, hoping that it would be like '95, sort of charming and entertaining, yeah. and it, it yeah. just wasn't that. Um, I remember even this week before we did the show, after we seen the movie, I had watched a video that basically uh, it's a it's a series called The Kill Count, which basically they review horror movies. Oh, James yeah. A. Janice? Yeah, yeah, and they and they I, talk about... My friend who knows that guy. Yeah, mm, nice. And they talk about, like, all the... He talks about the movies and then all the kills in the movies. Right. He usually does horror movies, but he did uh, Mortal Kombat and Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Mm-hmm. And he... I can't find my copy of Mortal Kombat. It's in a box. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. Um, but uh, I remember watching it, and he basically, like, went through the whole movie, and I'm just like, yeah, this movie still is... I, st- I want to watch it now. Like, I want to yeah. watch the whole thing now. Yeah. But you can't because it's not on HBO. There was, you yeah. can find Annihilation on HBO. Yeah. Oh, God. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, so... Yeah, it felt so much more it's fun. I... Animality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what did you want to say about the powers? Just that they were just kind of weird the way uh, that worked? Okay, I was fine with the idea of them basically having yeah, Highlander powers that because that didn't Highlander me. is, like, one of my favorite movie franchises of all time. As bad as they are, <laughs> yes. <laughs> But like I still love the first. We don't one, get to see. I, I shouldn't. We don't get to see the extent of how, like how the powers work. Like basically, Jack said that he got his powers from killing this guy with powers. Like who? Who did you kill to get who the powers? Who did you kill to get your powers? Like, I want to yeah. know who he killed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to know who Kano killed too. He killed somebody because he said somewhere. I don't know. I don't remember. So the way it works, maybe I missed it. The way it works is. Someone gets the tattoo, which is which means you're a participant in Mortal Kombat. You either get born with it, I assume, or and yeah. then if someone kills you, they get the you tattoo. get the tattoo, or maybe you and have the to tattoo k- gives you powers. Maybe you kill somebody in combat to initially get the. Maybe that's why he's no longer an MMA fighter. <gasps> wow, that would have been good to know information. <laughs> yeah, right. That would have been a little more interesting. <laughs> it's probably there in the background. It's just probably well. Not. Then if he did, I, I think I would have preferred it if he wasn't. MMA fighting anymore yeah. because he's so broken up about well, that's, killing a guy in the ring. He was a club fighter. He was, yeah, he but was he was still he was money. still fighting. Though. Oh, he was fighting for money, wasn't he? He was didn't still kill the guy. fighting. He's letting himself get his butt kicked, basically. Yeah. He didn't kill the guy. As a matter of fact, he's at, after the fight. He was like, "Good fight with him in the locker room." Oh, that room. guy, yeah. 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 But that, that he was a club. Small he was a club fight. He let his he let he never he never he never got that arm bar. By the way, that dude, yeah, no. that dude bent him up. <laughs> but. uh um, yeah, it just, it <laughs> underweight Zangief, yeah, <laughs> underweight Zangief. <laughs> it, uh, 
Good fight, comrade. Good fight. Um, yeah, so this movie was it just didn't sends the charm like came together yeah. uh, uh, an entertainment of the very first mortal Kombat, unfortunately yeah. um not that the first mortal Kombat was a good movie no but it's god, not but god if it wasn't it was an fun. entertaining yeah, and fun movie fun. Yeah, you know um the first one felt a lot more solid than this yeah. new one yeah I, would I, you say I, this one's better than annihilation or worse than annihilation oh this oh, one's yeah, like this one, better than this one's definitely better than annihilation yeah, okay. but i'd still say the original is a better movie I, in general yeah. hmm Annihilation, I remember watching it going, <laughs> like, the whole time, like, what? This is yeah. that m- yeah. movie? And, and you know what like, the first what, movie what had? Yeah, you know what, what the happened? first movie had that this movie didn't have? Uh, Paul Check off Anderson. spikes. Oh, yeah, that too. The first movie had spikes. Yeah. And you know what they did? They Someone fell yeah. on the spikes. <laughs> they stuck yeah. people the out. second movie had spikes. You know what happened? No yeah. one yeah. fell on the spikes. You yep. know what's funny, though, is if you take an R-rated movie from 2021, though, <laughs> compared to, in if that, if... To get that R rating, to not get above an R rating yeah. in, in 1995, it would be a PG-13 movie. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah. It's just, it seems like it's tighter and tighter. That Even an R-rated movie now, they can hardly show anything. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's just Without like being R-17. Yeah. I, would, which I was surprised that they even showed Kung Lao's fatality. That was right. pretty gruesome. That That's, was like yeah. the that was, most gruesome. That was probably their one-off. That was their main one. Yeah, because Kano pulling out the heart of somebody. It, okay, but it was like a monster. Yeah, it's it was different. a monster. Yeah, exactly. it wasn't a person. Yeah, technically you can and show if, all the, as much blood and gore as you want to a monster, but to a human, yeah, that's a different story. That's a different story. Yeah. yeah. She was technically a monster, too. That's probably how they got away with that. Um, but, yeah, it's just, yeah. <laughs> well, the tower is supposed to be, well, maybe, a maybe Maybe there's an NC-17 cut. Uh, unrated video cut that'll be better. I don't know. Where <laughs> Liu Kang actually eats Cabal. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Hashtag yeah. NC-17 cut. Spits out cut. his bones. <laughs> MK NC-17 cut. Hashtag. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and Kung Lao dies in this movie. That's right. Restore yeah. the NC-17 verse. Yes, Which I'm bring perfectly it back. fine with because Kong Lao dies a lot in the games. Yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah. Okay, so I mean, I, you want to wrap I, it up? I don't know what how much we, more we, we can give this. Yeah, what are we? Gonna, I don't know how much more we can talk about this. One, four, four stars. Four stars. Zero to four. Zero to four. What, what do you got? Uh, one and a half. One and a half. Okay. And a half is for the fatality. For the uh, one fatality, Kung Lao's fatality. <laughs> it was good. That the was good. one fatality could, they were allowed. You to have? saw it coming, but it was like it was very much like you know. In most movies nowadays, you would see it coming, but they wouldn't do it. Mm-hmm. Like this, finally, it's like you see it coming. And you're like, thank you. Yes, and there's a payoff. Thank you. There's yeah. a payoff. Yes. Mm, okay. <laughs> All right. What about you, Tony? Uh, coming from a Mortal Kombat fan who played most of the Mortal Kombat games, the only ones I haven't played are Mortal Kombat Mythology, Sub Zero, Mortal Kombat Special Forces, and. There's that many more. Yeah, yeah, there's a bunch of offshoots. I would yeah. have loved a, a Shaolin monks uh, version. Uh, movie. Oh, we kind of got that with one scene with Liu Kang and Kung Lao going back to back. Mm, no, I kind of need a whole movie of those two. <laughs> if I could get a whole movie of those two, I think that would be cool. But all know, right, that's just me. Uh, but go ahead. Uh, coming from a Mortal Kombat fan who's played through most of the games uh, at a young age, <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to give it a. Two point two and a half stars. Two, two and, and a half, half? Really? Out, out of four, mm. because wow. the original Mortal Kombat, I would give it three out of four stars because it's staple of my childhood. I yeah. <laughs> sure, but and it is watchable. I mean, yeah. as bad as it is, it's still watchable. It's just that like yeah. there were so many things that I could have. Well, I would I would made some changes to the story. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah. To make it a more better retelling of the games. Yeah. yeah. And that's the thing, I think, again, I've been seeing, I saw so many people online Easy. talk about how it's much more enjoyable than I found it. Um, yeah, I yeah. mean, that's cool. And that's fine. I again, we get a I, I'm not, a yeah. Could be better. Oh, yeah. I'm not here to, dis- we're not here to disparage you from watching it. Yeah, just, just don't um, see it. Cold. Yeah, you should still watch it if you want to watch it. Um, as far as my rating goes, I, uh, I gotta give it a one. One, one star. And it only gets that half star for a whole one because of the fatality. Because the same fatality. Because I think everyone played their parts very well for what they had. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah that, that's about it. That's about, I, honestly, I everything else in this movie was sort of, if it wasn't bad, it was very, it was boring at best. Yeah. I think what hinders the move for me is just 
coal in his story. That's yeah. like the biggest. Like I was fine with literally everything else. Yeah. It's just too much coal. Yeah. yeah, and then you spend too much time going, "Who is this guy?" And I don't care. Who is this guy? And why do I care about him? <laughs> and I don't care. No, that's the problem. I don't care. So if, they, if they ever make a sequel, like just don't make it about coal. Make it about. Yeah. Katana as the leading character. Something. Ooh, what if we start the new Mortal Kombat sequel the way Annihilation started? We kill Cole in the first two minutes of the movie, <laughs> like they did Johnny Cage, like they did and then Johnny, Johnny Cage. Cage comes in, and he's like, yo, guys, I'm here. Let's let's really do this. Let's and everyone's like, yeah! And they jump in the air, and they yeah. freeze for a minute. <laughs> and then they just run through everybody in Mortal Kombat. Um, yeah, and then you get Johnny Cage at the end in a movie poster. If you were wondering where Johnny Cage was, right? Yeah. Which again was supposed to be this big moment in of Shadow Stars Gym, Shadow Stars Gym, or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Cole. Cole. It's not. Is it his gym? Uh, I thought it was the guy, the was. promoter the guy's promo- gym. Yeah, the guy where he fought. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he played Shadow Star, right? Yeah. Oh, Cole. Yeah. yeah. He played Shadow Star in Deadpool too. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, our review of Mortal yeah. Kombat 1, one and a half, two and a half. Now, about, what is it, seven years ago, six years ago, there was a YouTube series. Yep, Mortal Kombat Legacy, season yeah. one and season two. Season one was actually legitimately good. Right, yeah. Like, it had a pretty good reimagining of Raiden's origins with right. him being in a mental asylum. <laughs> yeah, that stuff was cool. Uh, definitely s- worth checking out. Season two, not so much. Not so like, much, they replaced yeah. most of the actors, although I do like Casper Van Diem as Johnny Cage. Yeah. I could see that. Yeah. Um, I never watched the, the YouTube series. Michael Jai White but was Jax. Yeah. Michael Jai White is Jax. Oh, yeah. Was like great. Here's the thing with season two. They were like building up. Okay, season one was building up a bunch of things that would have appeared in season two, but they just scrapped a lot of it. Like Jax doesn't appear. The Cyber Ninjas don't appear. I guess they didn't want to make Michael Jai White's quote. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah what? <laughs> Although, um, the guy from Iron Chef America plays Kung Lao in season two. Oh, Mark Dacascus? Yes. Double Dragons? Yes. Uh, <laughs> double. The Double Dragon himself, Mark Dacascus. <laughs> yeah. who, was the, who was the other guy? Uh, was it? And he was also in, believe it or not, here's a little anecdote for you. He was also in yet another movie version of I Am Legend, which a lot of people don't know about. Um, I think it's just called... I don't remember what it's called. I think The Asylum did it, though. It's really bad. Oh, okay. Oh. Never mind. If it's... But he plays the last man on Earth, yeah. Yeah, we should. You know what? We Mark should. Dukoski. Do you guys want to write a double dragon script and see if we. I mean, if they could sell this to HBO Max, imagine what we could do with a double dragon movie. Ugh. Good. Hey, hey, do you not have enough faith in us to write a double dragon movie? I do. Movie? I do. Yeah. But we there's can be- already such an excellent movie with uh, Mark Dukoskis and Scott Wolf. And Scott Wolf and uh, Alyssa, Alyssa Milano. Milano and. Uh, Terminator 2 himself, um, oh, his uh, name is Escape. Robert Long. Patrick. Robert yeah, Patrick, Robert Patrick, yeah. Who is, uh, I love him and everything in that movie. It's just like, wow. <laughs> he's good in it, though, because he's over the top and, you know weird, what? You know and what weird, weird and goofy. You know what movie I hate that he's in, huh. and, and I love him in it, is The Marine. He's in The Marine. John Cena's The Marine is a terrible movie. Yeah. It's so stupid, but he's in it, and he's really great. Robert Patrick. Robert Patrick is in it, and he he's plays really good great. military guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, definitely a a, chin, a, a a scene chewer, for sure. Um, but yeah, you guys, we should write Double Dragon in the movie. All right, All right. we're just kind of meandering about here. All um, right, fine. Let's play. Shao you guys just want to st- spend an hour talking about what video game franchises we could write a movie for? <laughs> <laughs> Burger Time the uh, movie. They need to get what's his name back from the first one, even though he's like an old man now. Burger Bur- Time the movie. Christopher Lambert. No. Uh, oh, you said Shao Kahn. Yeah, Lambert? who should play? No, oh. like not uh, not Shang Tsung. Shao Kahn. Oh, The Rock or John Cena? <laughs> <laughs> you know, The Rock is Shao. The Rock is Shao Kahn. I could see that. Well, who's taller? <laughs> who's taller? <laughs> the Rock or John Cena? Yeah. yeah. The Rock. I think The Rock's taller because John Cena's not as yeah. tall as you'd think he is. You gotta get. Someone, he's not short, but he's not that tall. You gotta get someone who's. Bulky the and, rocks, and what, tall. Six five, I think. Shao Kahn, not mm-hmm. like an yeah. Annihilation. Where John Cena is only six one or something. Six foot. Ooh, the yeah. Shao, the, the Shao Kahn from Annihilation was one of the punks from it, the first Terminator. Terminator movie. Yeah. Oh really? Yep. Mm-hmm. You know the guys that were like, yeah. "Give me your clothes," and they're like yeah. giving well, yeah, them crap. Bill, yeah. Bill Paxton was one of them. Yeah, yeah yep. the other guy. Oh, That's the guy who played. I forgot, I forgot his name was, but he played Shao Kahn wow. in, in Mortal watch. Kombat Annihilation. I'm gonna have to watch that again. Now I can't not see his face. I'm like, how am I supposed to take you seriously? You laughed at Arnold. <laughs> Your clothes, give them to me. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, there we go. Mortal that's Kombat. It. Yeah, that's it. Um, join us in a couple of weeks uh, when we review Space Jam. Oh yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to sit that one out, man. I uh, just, I can't. You guys are in. 
That I, was part of your childhood. I saw that movie. No, no, no. I saw I, the first one was adult. I did not like no, it. No, I don't I don't I don't want to watch it. Okay. Um I did bring it up. I remember <laughs> when we were talking, you were like, nope, and I'm like, well, that's a good answer because I also I don't want to <laughs> see it. Anyway. I like Looney Tunes back in action a lot more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Space Jam. There we go. Mortal Kombat. Uh, if there's anything that's coming Love up that you guys... It. Let us know in the comments. Yeah, if there's anything like, you share, want subscribe. us to, to see that's coming up or yeah. maybe that's already been out that you think we may enjoy or not enjoy, right. Uh, right. let us know in the comments as well. Yes. Um, oh, and also, like, what you thought. What did you think of the movie? Yeah, yeah, I'm curious know. to know why people like this movie so much. Yeah, and, um, you know... See it. <laughs> yeah. Still see it. Yeah. Remember don't, to like. Don't take, don't take our word for it. I hate everything. Just ask any of these guys. Yep. I also I <laughs> hate it on HBO lot. Max. Right. I think I'm gonna get to an age where I hate everything too because I hate a lot of things. <laughs> it's happening. I've never hated this many things. <laughs> now that I've gotten old, now that I've aged out of a demographic, I've never hated things more, <laughs> and I feel like it's only gonna get worse from there. Yeah, probably. Anyway, guys, be sure to like Ooh. and subscribe, um, oh. for that sweet algorithm. A little um. A little plug-in. Um, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I'm um, this upcoming Thursday. What day is it today? It's the. We're talking about the 29th. 29th. So 29th, uh, Nerd Cage Live is gonna do a watch party of the new Mortal Kombat movie with Daniel Pacina, the guy who played Johnny Cage in the original. Nice. Games oh and wow. All the ninjas. That's cool. And I'm gonna be there too. Nice. What? Where's, where's cool. Where is this? Nerd where's Cage Live. Nerd Cage Live. Nerd Cage Live. Yep. YouTube. Yep. Nice. Check it out. Yeah. Go to Nerd Cage Live. I'm gonna watch that. Sounds it. Cool. That sounds awesome. Yeah. You guys are just gonna watch the movie. Yeah. yeah. That sounds amazing. I'm gonna, cool. it. I'm gonna watch it with Daniel Pacino dressed um, up as Johnny Cage. That's cool. Yeah. Where Where can I watch this movie with Brigitte Wilson? Uh, <laughs> if she still lives in Anderson, go knock on her door. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That'll go. That'll go over that'll go great. great. Yeah. Go no, knock on right. her door. Go. You wanna watch Mortal Kombat? <laughs> Um, <laughs> pretend to be Christopher Lambert. It might work. You want you want to watch <laughs> Mortal Kombat? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Anyway, guys, uh, have a good night. We will see you next week. All right. Good night.